Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on Insane Difficulty. It is time for Act 2, Chapter 8, and I was almost thinking we would have the final, um, the kind of final mission here of Act 2, but that's not the case. We got a couple of side missions and that sweet, sweet legendary armor is uh, looking too good to pass on. Problem here is maximum squad size one, and um, we will potentially bring our um, scout just to use or ab abuse that sweet, sweet stealth that we do have. Um, I was still looking for a way to get a faster re-stealth or at least stay permanently hidden, but so far that is not the case. If we look at her abilities, Maybe I'm missing something, but essentially, well, the movement range could be helpful. Essentially, what we would want to have is the escape route. First time kills an enemy with a critical hit or an execution uh, unit gains the hidden status. Okay, fair enough. And there is, I think, another restealth mechanism. Sh shots from hidden gain damage. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I was... Oh yeah, here, ob obfuscate um, is the other one. And essentially you could hide, then obfuscate yourself. Oh no, it's a non-scout ally. Never mind. My idea is potentially not really working. We can now uh, plant frag grenades and uh, proximity mines, and that will no longer remove the status effect, but throwing grenades... I think we'll still remove uh, the status effect. Anyways, enough bubbling. Let's get uh, to deployment, and hopefully this mission is going to be not as hard as I as I think it would be. Our scouts have spotted another pair of grub torture pods. Break those prisoners free, and we might just gain some new recruits. Okay, let's go. Let's see how difficult it is with one. Uh, scout and one scout only. The locust are keeping prisoners nearby. Got a Let's prison cell go. and, and a crate up here. And another one and another crate. Wow, three enemies. Oh, it's a lot for just one of us. But we can. And there's time. the last ca uh, ca uh, crate. So one crate, two crates, three crates. I was about to say we can always free up the others and eventually hope that that will solve our problem. Jack's going to scout. Double move. Oh, two disciples. That's hey. not good. So let's use sprint to get as close as possible. we kill one with a grenade? No, and they are too far apart from one another. Here, cat. All right, so this is going to be Operation Super Stealth. Definitely well. Those two are history. Jack continues to scout. Unfortunately, we have used our uh, our cloak ability, and it'll, it'll take a couple of turns to get back up. Oh, 
good. We're cloaking. And let's move a bit Scout closer here. to see what we're dealing with. Can't really hit anything from here. On Overwatch. Good. In case they are rushing us, which I don't think they will, we got an Overwatch going. <laughs> Careful of that sniper Time drone. Taking position. Moving up. Nicely hitting all three of them. I think we're just going to hide for now. someone is trying to hurt us a bit of damage nice. reduction can't hurt and Jack is hiding okay we're almost at the pot news is we're oh no the good news is we got our cloak back moving to position. one movement to here oh. can't really can't really move over. I read you. We're just going to reposition. We're going to be fine. Don't worry. Don't worry, we're going to be fine. Enemy movement. We're up. All right, one. hand over huh. we can even make that more efficient Wilco good now let's hand over an action point to every single one of us First of all, sniper drone needs Fire to die. Secondly, this guy needs to die. Keep knocking him down. Taking position. Yep. All right, moving over. just one turn okay cool which means 
You've got this. Optimal case for shooting him and killing him. I'm listening. Um, not optimal case for going there with a the chainsaw. There we go. Yes. Fifty percent. Almost out. Partial hit is not really good enough. Taking position. So we're taking the slight debuff. Keep them coming. But on the flip side, we have cleared the battlefield. All right, two tickers. We should be okay with those. Oh, that is a Fennon. Aaron Fennon guard. That's not okay. This guy Let's make it happen. is causing quite some trouble. Good. A grenade. Back in your hole. Moving out. Jack is collecting and we're moving further. Eyes peeled. Okay, next turn we can start engaging against Enemy the Fenn guard. I would like him or I would like to kill him this turn. It's giving order. Can't afford to let him live. Down to fifty hit points. Orders. Moving up. And let's kill this guy. Good, that's an even an extra ability point. Fantastic. Unfortunately a really bad chance okay. to kill the tick. Which means we gotta use our proximity mine cooldown. Eyes peeled. Moving up. And hiding. hidden again. Seven turns. We're we're good. We don't need to hurry too much. Yep. On it. Good moving up. We haven't taken any damage yet. Kill zone is good. Uh, but uh, let's try to overwatch and Jack for once is doing coordinated assault up here All right. with his spare actions Eliminated. okay so much for that extra action point Orders. Can Jack give us another one? No. That's one turn out and we don't have the time Solid to wait. Copy. So we do have ready. the power, right? Yes, we do.
You've got this. There we go. Power. On it. And some nice overwatch. Should have given yeah. him the aura beforehand. I'm listening. Good. We do have two turns, one of which will be a double kill here. Down. And we're going to hide. Okay, one more opponent to go. So far, we're Ready. doing great. The scout is a powerhouse if played correctly. Standing by. All right, fifty percent extra damage, Time lock and load. Lock, shock and rock. Not only Orders. did we get some reload, we also got a one-shot grenade, and that's mainly what I was looking for. Scratch one grub. On the move. Good, the loot is over there. Ready. Jack's moving up. And we got a torque bolt, which I should pick up and definitely hopefully it's not decaying. Let's make it happen. There we go. Now we got a real weapon. Orders. And a heavy. Is that a heavy or is it a sniper? I think it's a heavy. No, it's a Vanguard. No, it's another scout. Never mind. I got all of the classes. Uh, I go went through all of the classes just to figure out it's another scout. Here. Double scout it is, and one that has obfuscate, uh, the skill that allows you to hide a non-scout unit. So, Go ahead. theoretically, we could just make all of them invisible and rush out. Practically speaking, that might be a good idea because I'm seeing a lot of enemies. This will be good. No problem. Uh. I'm listening. Okay, moving up. Moving even further up. And let's hide. Support on standby. Deck is moving up. I think we're fine for now. They won't get past me. But next turn we gotta be I'm careful. Time to make a move. Okay, hidden lost. Should potentially Down not have standby. hidden that early. Taking position. Ready. Good. 
Well, let's give it an extra go. That's 20% uh, damage improved. And we are looking at... Oh, both of them are fully buffed up. I see how it is. I see how it is. Well, in that case, each of you should take a bit of damage. They got their nice little 70% damage reduction. We got a cloaking. Moving. Fantastic. The damage is great. Hiding. Anticipation. Moving out. And this should be a full cover spot. Jack moves up, and Jack needs to hide as well. Brace for attack. Are they still under the effect? Oh yeah, they are. Annoying. Very annoying. Frag out. Throwing frag. Good, we're using all of the cooldowns that we do have available. Jack moves up to here. Gives everybody a nice little aim bonus. Yeah. Despite all of the critical hits. You. Holy shit. They are still standing. Okay, well, 100% chance to hit. Let's hope the pistol the shot will at least interrupt them. We're going for full cover here. They're making a move. He still retained the de defensive buff because he's buffing them before he he could actually move. This will be good. Throwing frag. I read you. Moving out. Charging over. Target in sight. So much damage reduction. Waiting orders.
Good extra actions for everybody. And this is eventually a kill. All out. One dead grub. You got it. Nothing but bits. Problem okay. solved. Moving up, and let's sprint. Oh boy, that was a great mission. Difficult, They're but a move. very enjoyable. And I came to the conclusion that scouts are just incredibly overpowered. The whole grenade thing, throwing a grenade every single turn, like no cooldown, that's 700 damage and you can even up the damage with that plus 20% here and there. Yeah, one-shotting most of the smaller units. Nice, both of them come at level 5, which if we were to, le uh, um, to get them now, she actually is uh, an interesting scout to hire, confirm recruitment, and he would be a level 5 as well. And as far as I'm concerned, there's much disadvantage in having more people. Other than you get uh, rare rare pistols. Who could use that rare pistol? I think predominantly our sniper. Because... Oh, okay. We can only get that a little bit later. Well, we're going to do all of uh, the... All of the loot after the next mission. Basically need to think about which of those missions I'm going to do. But that is a topic of our next episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the content, leave a comment and a like down below. That would mean a lot to me. And see you in the next episode of Gears Tactics.